truth is, the game was rigged from the start. All right. So, I guess we'll start right here. So, hello, everyone. This is Neuronium joined with... Ethan Edgar. And Kamoa. And welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. This time it's for a birthday. My birthday. I am a quarter of a century old now. Oh my god. You're so old. 25 is not old. I'm still youngin' to everyone at work. Yeah. And it upsets So have you them. had a good day? Eh, had a lot of people tell me my birthday sucks because I was born on tax day. You're an omen of tax. Then I felt bad because some of my friends were not having pretty good days. I'm like, oh no. Oh. Your birthday is bought. Yeah. So that you may have a good day. <laughs> but, alright, so last time in New Vegas, we had finished up Raul Tejada's uh, arc. So he, even though we never really got to use him as a, um, how do you say, partner as much, we did help him find the confidence he needed to go back to his gunslinging ways. We also managed to save Boone by making a lot of forbidden chili, and we managed to, um get our little beep boop to be active i think we don't have beep boop with us right now because i want to focus on veronica but there is another um companion there there's technically three more companions we can do technically four actually that we can do um so first things first we're gonna speak with senior knight lorenzo to end the NCR's um, shutdown. And uh, that's going to put us to a place that I like to call the Zombie Plant People Vault. Excuse me? Zombie Plant People. The most common no type of zombie. Ooh, thanks, Travis, for the bits. Lovely little birthday bits. Birthday bits. His little cake. It's funny because my yeah, birthday. Cookie. Yep. It's funny because my uh, my birthday cake is actually a Valentine's Day cake because my mom that was the only mix she had. Cake is cake, my dude. Cake is indeed cake. It's got sprinkles in it too. It's fun, Betty. All right. So now let us speak with Senior Knight Lorenzo. He should be back now that Beep Boop is safe and sound. Good to Boop. see you again. What can I help you with? The Elder wants me to retrieve components to help fix the air filtration system. So now I'm going to have your death on my conscience too? Great. Err, uh, what? You think you're the first person the Elder's trusted with this? He sent three of our patrols out looking for those components, and they're all dead. I was the one who supplied the Elder with the location of possible sites where we could find the components, so their deaths are my fault. And now it's your turn. Well, don't say you weren't warned. I won't take the blame when you die horribly. But I can tell you're getting impatient. The items I'll need to keep the system running are... Ooh, a that's a lot of bits. Controller. Thanks, Wisdom. Reverse pulse cleaner and several HEPA cartridge filters. Thanks, Wisdom. At present, my best guess for finding the items would be to search any of the old vaults in the area. Those vaults were usually built much like these military bunkers, even using the same contractors in their constructions at times. I'll mark the vault's locations on your map. Best of luck to you. I've never seen my Being cup... Wise, so don't get I've never seen my cup filled up so much. So much, So much things... Alright, so I need to find different things in the different vaults. 
this is where it comes in handy to have Veronica and where I'm actually going to have to branch off and start helping another faction in New Vegas that I've actually not helped yet. And that is the Great Cons. They're drug peddlers. But more like... They don't really... They're not really bad. Like, I will teach them how to send off things like stim packs and healing medicine to help people. But they also send out the so bad So they drugs. peddle the good kush. The good and the bad kush. Right now they and primarily do bad. It's alright, Travis. Every bit helps. My cup is more filled than it's ever been. Alright, so the places we can go to are Vault 11... Vault 22, otherwise known as Zombie Plant People Vault. And this one right here, which is known as Vault 3. Each of these vaults has quests tied to them. Vault 3 has to deal with the Fiends, which we dealt with a while back. We dealt with most of their commanders, but there's one commander that I didn't deal with because I can't kill him, otherwise I'll fail another quest and ruin an ending. Uh, Vault 22 has a quest tied to it. As does... Uh, Vault 11 being the only one that does not have a quest tied to it. Well, it has an unmarked one. The uh, Vault 11 meets an interesting end because it shows the problem when you let, when you don't like question authority. Vault 22 is playing God, and Vault 3 had no experiment on it. Vault 3 was just. Hey, we want to survive the nuclear fallout. Okay, you survived the nuclear fallout. Guess what? You're going to get killed by a bunch of junkies the moment you come out because you think everyone's still nice. Free was being unprepared. They were naive. So we've got the unprepared versus the too prepared. Yep. Welcome, sir or madam. Ooh, thank you for the bits, Aether. I do not have many, but happy birthday. Yay, all the bits. I had bits. My cup is so filled. When did I get a GRA plasma pistol? I don't remember that. I know where I got the tri-beam laser. Oh, that's right. I'm carrying uh, T Brotherhood T-51B power armor. I See, a little bit sad. It's, it's all right, Kay. You being here is good <laughs> enough. Wait, sell the cigarettes. He's sharing the bits in his heart. Aw, that's concerning. He needs the heart to survive. And I can get a new one. True, we do have the technology for that now. We do have the technology for that now. Oh, and they look cool. You know what else looks cool? When you drain the heart completely of blood. It's like a pale white. That does not sound cool. It looks cool. It's like a grayish white. I don't think I've seen a heart. Like an actual heart, or? I don't think we did that in biology. We cut open lungs instead. It's more than what I did in biology. We couldn't afford um, to dissect most regular animals, so the most we got were squids and flowers. Never dissected a flower. Did your school turn the squid into car calamari afterwards? You eat the squid. <laughs> no, I kind of wish we did now because I would have learned to love calamari sooner than I have. Ours did. Our teacher brought a deep fryer and he's like, okay, hand him over. I'm going to make calamari. That's safe. <laughs> hey, I mean, why throw out a perfectly good squid? Exactly. It's fresh squid. All you did was cut it open with a sterile scalpel. That's true. Yep, yeah, and then you fry it in super hot oil. And it becomes delicious. 
Yeah, we just had mostly had a demonstration rather than actually cut open our own things. I guess we could only afford the one. <laughs> That's a shame. It was it was from dissecting the flowers that I learned. Hey, I'm allergic to pollen. Oh, awful. But then again, I don't know anyone who's not really allergic to pollen either. So probably the most common allergy, I'd think. Besides peanut. Yeah. Hey, peanut over pollen. I have both, so you know. <laughs> you can actually decrease that allergy by eating raw honey. For uh, pollen or the nut one? Pollen, not nuts. I was about okay, to cool. say. No, do not do <laughs> that for nuts. Cute. No, no, no. <laughs> Eat more peanuts. Nothing bad yeah. will happen. I do like no, honey, for, uh, but that's not a bad pollen. idea. Yeah, I just usually have some in my nightly tea and it helps. Also, hey, Michael, uh, that is a good question. How does, uh, how does honey heal, a, help a pollen allergy? It gets your immune system used to it prior to the big outbreak in the spring. Hmm. Honey is a, like a miracle substance. <laughs> Use it as an antiseptic. Oh, yeah, you're really desperate. Okay, the Nellis generators. You have to be really careful too, because some raw honey can have botulism in it. Hmm. All right. So an antiseptic might not be the best idea. Right here, right here. Okay, improved its efficiency. Improved its efficiency. Time for the Nellis array to be fixed. I just realized I'm not doing what I said I was going to be doing, but I also want to go in and out with the boomers, getting everything done with them. Because I did open up a lot of stuff in the last live stream. And we got the ah, time. Just like in the where everything opened up. That was dumb. Team Jade, if you're <laughs> watching that, why did you curse me so? <laughs> I had to look up a spoiler log just to see what I could get because I had run through every option in Ocarina of Time randomizer. All you had to do was fish. Yep. Sorry, because when the first time I tried fishing, I wasn't able to... Um, without the sword. Yeah, I wasn't able to fish without the sword. So I'm like, how how do I fish? Is that ant invisible? Oh, oh, you're. I brought the best companion in with this. I brought the lady that punches things to death. Uh, one punch woman. Yes. Anybody see season two yet? Um, I've seen episode one. See, I would. It's always going to be a downgrade because stu the studio that made season one did a fantastic job of animating it. That anything less than that is like seen like a downgrade. Ah, I haven't seen it yet. Seen season one. So, ha <laughs> So what do I think about it's season one? I'm gonna get Outer World on consoles first, probably either Xbox One or PS4, and then I'll just wait the year because by then I'll know how to break the game in two. So even though Outer Worlds is gonna be an exclusive one for uh, the Epic Games Store. I'm not too distraught. Nope, I do not jump straight into mods. 
because I feel like if I jump straight into mods, I ruin the vanilla game and I'll never be able to play it again without, um, like regular, without the mods. Okay, what do I activate? I'm confuzzled now. Do I activate the generators? Because I put the sonic emitter in. So everything should die once I activate it. Right. A whole year might be crazy, but I'm not surprised that something like that would happen. Because Epic is trying to compete with Steam in such a way that they can, like, you know, actually win to a degree. So they're actually trying to be competitive. Yeah. Well, trying to be. A lot of people don't like that uh, they're buying ex the exclusives and the developers are taking the deal. Because part of the problem with... Um, what's it called? With... Um, oh, I got the bug stomper perk. Uh, part of the problem with Steam is they kind of rest on their laurels a lot. Like, they are pretty much the de facto way of playing most PC games. They know it, so they don't really try to improve their service as much as they really could. It's why I really prefer good old gaming when I get a chance. Or GOG as they go by now. So basically, Steam is being a classic iTunes, since they have no competition at the moment. In a way, this might be good, then. Yeah. That's what a lot of people are holding out for. A lot of people just don't like, oh, why are they buying the... Because there's been a few instances that it's been pretty bad with some of the exclusives that they would do. Um, mm. The biggest one being Metro Exodus, which was for pre-order on Steam. And people bought it. Epic bought the exclusive rights to it. And everyone on Steam got a refund. Like, in that case, I can see why people are upset. Mm -hmm. Because it's just one of those things where it's like, they should have really, like, not done that. But, I mean, I'm all for more competition... Especially if it means Steam will actually improve their service. Because mm -hmm. they let a lot of... Yeah. Because they, they let a lot of pretty questionable and functional... Questionably functional games on Steam. Oh, trust me. I've been recommended lots of anime titties. All the anime titty. You can get that stuff on Steam? Yeah, they actually yeah. made it that you... Do they, okay. they, they... They still heavily censor that, though, still, don't they? Uh, what's the point? <laughs> I think they are, quote-unquote, supposed to, but it's so difficult. I still see it, like, even in the thumbnail. Well, I mean, I know there is for Honey Pop. Like, that one was on Steam, and that one had to be... Um censored but i when i think they might have lifted some of the censor stuff i don't know i don't actually play those types of games i just see them in my recommendeds based on like all the jrpgs and stuff i don't think you would get much of substance on them so well i mean most a lot of, like games like honey pop i think are dating sims oh and not probably not uh, honey pop is a puzzle dating sim Puzzle so that one I can actually say play, even if it's kind of like Candy Crush with uh, titties. I see the powers back. Is there any good writing though? 
I mean, it has some comedy writing, even if it's a tad edgy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the Japan exclusive games, some of them are kind of weird. I know I know Play Asia is a big like place to import games cuz heck, I'm using them to import um Final Fantasy 12 Zodiac Age for Switch. But Lord have mercy. There's a lot of anime titty on that site. <laughs> Even when you're supposed to be just looking in the game section, you're like, what the heck is all this? See, that's what I'm talking about. Japan just very readily available anyway. Just go to, like, convenience store. I guess, Michael, I guess. Where's Loyal? Is that Loyal? I mean, they have to keep it behind a curtain and also in plastic wrap, but it is easy to find. So you're the outsider. Okay, loyal. Cover a lady. Nope. Hey there. I'm looking for anywhere to help out. What I could use is some scrap metal. The other thing. That must be nice. Sharing yourself like that. Not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Tell me about her. I'm going to help Jack solve his love's problems. Oh, you can't miss her. Ah. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. Relationship fix really fix talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I'll get into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Okay, Jack's love story. Young hearts. Okay, where the heck is Loyal? I need to talk to Loyal because I fixed his uh, array. Sunshine boogie. Okay, is he over here? Or is he in this barracks? He's in his barracks, dang it. Loyal, I need to tell you something. Something important. Oh, right, there's a... There is a bobblehead. Not bobblehead. There is a, um... A snow globe that is here, actually. Oh, globe. Is it in here? What do snow globes do again? Because this is my first time <laughs> in a New Vegas stream. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, snow globes are like how um, the Fallout 3 bobbleheads are, only they don't raise a special stat. You just sell them to somebody for caps and get an achievement if you get all seven. Oh, okay. Hello, That's cool. Right, I repaired the solar arrays and increased their efficiency. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Goodbye, loyal. Don't get blown up. I am liked by the boomers. The boomers like me enough. Now I need to deal with Jack's love problem. Which means I have to go to the Crimson Caravan. Now, I've not been to the Crimson Caravan yet. The reason for that is this is actually somewhat tied to another... Whoa, whoa, who's shooting me? Oi. Under fire. Yeah, I suddenly... I spawn in and I start getting shot. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? How dare. Okay, sturdy caravan shotgun. Ooh, actually, 
with my laser rifle, I can repair my tri-beam laser rifle. What is this damage threshold thing? It's so confusing. 14.9 times 3 damage. Right. I understand. Oh, Aether Nightmare is a friend of mine who we've known each other for a while now. Like, how long? Uh, I've been subscribed to you for at least two years. Yeah. Because I remember you also ran the Scalant Mirage channel. Or is it Scalant? <laughs> Skintalant. Skintalant. But... <laughs> Uh, she was also on uh, the charity event for two of the Spyro games. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. So we've known each other for a while. Also recognize her name from uh, the chat occasionally. Yep. That's fair, Michael. I I know how your internet is. He's not that good. We accept your internet for what it is. <laughs> it also doesn't help that your dad's Tesla ends up eating up a lot of the bandwidth. I'm starting to see Teslas a lot around when I'm at work. Right. This is the lady. Her name is Janet. She is the one that Jack is in love with. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Right. I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's nice, maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you're the love of his life. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. You can lie. You have permission. They know you're coming. That'll get her killed, and then the boomers will uh, fire at her right away. So you can be a dick and ruin this guy's love life by watching the love of his life get blown up by a howitzer. Um, way to be that guy. <laughs> I thought we weren't doing evil route. No, we aren't doing evil route. I'm just saying that's what you can do if you want to do evil route. Same way you didn't eat the baby. That was a mod, okay? I can't eat the baby. <laughs> but it's clearly the, the superior moral option. Compared to the other two moral choices, unfortunately, eating the baby kind of is. <laughs> uh. Which... Uh, have I told you about that, Aether, about eating the baby from Fallout 3? Nope, but I've seen the image that it's associated with. Oh, the cannibal park? The lady's face. Oh. Oh. Yeah, pretty much it's a mod for Fallout 3 on PC. Um, your moral choices in the DLC normally are... Uh, keep the baby with its parents. They'll raise it and eventually free the slaves after Pittsburgh has been rebuilt. Um, Moses wrote. But they, it's the slaves they own. <laughs> yeah. Or B, end up um, taking the baby from its parents, resulting in you having to kill both parents. There is no way around it. You have to kill both parents to people who do not care for the baby and just want to exploit it. The baby may not survive. Yep. Or C, if you have the mod, eat the baby and gain immune, immune. become immune to radiation. <laughs> what is this baby that makes it so special? It has uh, a it... genetic um, a genetic trait that makes it immune to a sickness known as the disease that's inside of Pittsburgh going around at the time. And the slaves have it pretty much in it. Yeah, uh, it's common in the slaves, and basically, 
Um, the the baby is the first one to ever be like genetically immune, and her pa both her parents are scientists, so they know how to like do the test and everything without hurting their child. I feel like I've seen this plot in Resident well, Evil. Well, this is welcome news. Who is she? Yeah, Resident Evil Two. <laughs> Eating the baby. She's in that too. She works for the Crimson Caravan. Well, young teenage girl, but same idea. Uh, eat the teenage girl. girl. <laughs> I'm not interested in a bigger meal. Savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. I mean, a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. All right. So tell Janet, Jack, Janet is interested in him. You know, it's a good thing that these two actually end up, like, loving each other. And it's not just like, oh, hey, this guy's a creep. I don't care about him. Oh, you can you can eat the slaves, too. Um, if you have the cannibal perk, you can eat anyone, just like you can in this game. Where if you have the cannibal perk in this game, there's a challenge for eating every single one of the faction leaders, and you gain the perk, the meat of champions. So, it's ultimate forbidden chili. Ultimate forbidden chili, because you're eating the famous people, the faction leaders. The powerful people. <laughs> it's just a, a mark. I mean, that's what we did in Disgaea with Demon Lords to build the ultimate dessert. Slay demons. Take the ingredients. Make the ultimate dessert. Hmm. Here, take this Delicious. boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. All right, boomer outfit for Janet. And now let's go back to the Crimson Caravan where we got to talk to McLafty, the boss of the Crimson Caravan, and say, Hey, can you let this lady out of her contract? Pretty please? She's following her true love. Because we all know businesses would totally go for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish I lived in that world. You don't want to live in this apocalyptic world, okay? <laughs> I want to live in a world where businesses... Allow men to follow their love. We live in a society. Right. And talk to Janet again. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I got a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. All right. Now we need to talk to the big boss of the Crimson Caravan. I'm going to have to put on my sell things better clothes. Oh, yeah. That tradition is back. That tradition has been going on. How much is my... My barter is 53. Alright. I'm going to save because it's been a while since I actually started streaming and I did not realize how late it's been. <laughs> Hello, Alice McLafferty. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas Branch. What may I do for you? Janet asked me to ask you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, uh, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. Word gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Okay, so you need a barter? Um, You're really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time for happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just as once. 
Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. All right. I did it. I managed to convince her with my words. All right. And let us talk to you. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? I convinced her to pay you what you're owed. You're free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. I've gained boomer fame. Right. And go up this way. No, Michael. I'm doing a good person run. I gotta be a goody goody two shoes. <laughs> Mr. B is playing the devil on your shoulder. Yes. His name. Whoa. So we may see our dream of flight soon. All right, and he should be over this way. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the random dialogue that happens like that. Thank you for getting Janet to know us. I've never been so happy in my entire uh, life. I wish I could hear what was said. Oh no. There's uh, a hey. dialogue options on the thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, even Michael caught that. He's like, wait, are you sure you're doing the good route? Yeah. yeah, I didn't fully catch it, but they said something like, are we going to bleed the gra color the ground red with the blood of our enemies? Yeah, basically, because it's talking about the Legion. Basically saying that we're going to kill all the Legionnaires. Which is fine, because the Legion is evil. Mm. We will show them... We will show them our peaceful ways by force. That's one heck of a wedding reception. Yep. All right, let us talk to Pearl. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, I think I've done everything I can do to help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find loyal. And ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. All right. We're going to go and get an airplane. We're going to get a B-52 bomber. We're going to give it to people that are kind of overzealous with bombing things. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I don't know. It's not like there's a prime example painted all around us. Nah, I don't see it. Well, sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Lady in the water? What's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Where is the bomber located? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. How do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of a lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. 
Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. If it's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. So this kind of paints an interesting picture for the boomers. You think that they're like, oh, they've been this tribe for a long time. No, it's only been 50 years. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, oh, you're only 50. hit the button. Any ideas how to get the bottom of Lake Mead without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather one. Right, where is Jack? Jack is over here with his girlfriend. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Right, Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Corn, silk, rubber hose, and a removable adhesive will make a good hermetic sink seal. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. All right. So now I can breathe underwater. Ha. Huh. I'm still wearing my sell things better clothes. That'd actually be kind of bad if I were to put that on. So, water breathing. We are going to put on the leather armor. Reinforce. Rebreather. First recon beret. And the rebreather makes me look... Rather cool. Oh no, my... Yeah, I got my O2 mask. I've got my O2 mask. Are you my mummy? Did you say that to my character? <laughs> no reference. It's okay, don't worry. Is it a reference I'm not getting from Ratchet and Clank? Oh, from Ratchet and Clank, no. Okay, I was about to Bayonetta, say. I think. Uh, I don't know how much you actually heard. <laughs> I just heard, are you my mummy? That's exactly what I said. This one, Doctor Who. <laughs> oh, okay. Because uh, they also have that exact same line in Bayonetta. Oh, do they? Yeah, with Cereza. Oh no! The bad happens. The Kaza does. Oh, they're some big things. They're the worst. I have a heart attack if I saw that in real life. I hate these things so much. Now is not a time to reload. Oh, I was going to die. That's always a time to reload. As much as I don't want to remove the poison because I'm about to get stung again and get poisoned again. God have mercy, I hate these things. Flippin' Kazadars. Alright, I leveled up. This is good. Okay, 90... Okay, what should I do for my points now? No, my companion's not permanently dead. If I'm playing on hardcore mode, my companion permanently dies, which would make me cry, because then I'd lose my beep boop in the future. Yeah, for in this case, it's just a temp die. Yeah, they just go unconscious. Alright, uh, we'll do that. Survival. It's quite nice. Uh, energy weapons will put up to 30. Alright. Time to deal with more bees. Because there's a giant nest around here. That's what I was actually worried about. I'm going to punch them to death. That sounds painful. It is. It will be.
All right, um, let's drink this sunset stuff. For real. Like, come on, star bottle cap. Ah, uh, no star bottle cap. So recompense of the fallen. I got this when I ended up destroying a legion camp by irradiating it to high hell. And what I got in return was a special spiked knuckle that's basically made out of dog tags from NCR soldiers. So now I'm going to use that to beat up legionnaires in the future. Alright, let's deal with the Kazadars. They see me. The bees! Uh, does bonus limb damage. Well, Veronica died again. Oh, I got poisoned again. Oh, God. Help. Help the bees. There's too many bees. I did not think this through. Okay. Hold on. Don't kill me yet. Don't kill me, please. People die when they are killed. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a fun fact. All right, I think I killed all the bees. Need to get rid of the Kazadar poison again. I need to find more dumb legionnaires so I can kill them. All right, I need to eat some Brahmin steak. You can eat their, I can eat the bee eggs, but I don't want to. I'll just eat a bunch of dog meat that apparently I have stockpiled for such an occasion. Can you combine all the dog meat together to make dog meat the character? No. Dog meat is not in this game. Instead, we have Rex, the cybernetic robot dog. Is he just as powerful? No, uh, no one is no one will ever be as a god that was um dog meat. No, they, none of the companions have 15,000 health by the end of the game. <laughs> the goodest boy. The goodest boy that will never die. Because if you get him killed, you can get a perk where you can get his puppies. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is a huge Kazadar nest. There's a couple of these hidden around the wasteland. They are not fun to deal with. The next one that we're going to have to deal with in the future is inside of a mountain by um, everything else. Alright, so Captain Dean's boat rentals. That was a wrap. It was ugly. Thanks, Veronica. Well, it's like no. the size of a possum. Yeah, ra radiation does things. Alright, take the cigarettes, because nobody needs those, because... Well, actually, no, everyone needs those. That's why cigarettes sell for so much, because you're in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, so everyone's all depressed and wants to smoke to get their mind off the fact that they're in a shithole. I don't think smoking will help them in the end. I mean, it's either that or the radiation kills you. I mean, that's why people smoke today still. True. No. Is that the game that's making that noise? the heck was that? What noise you just talked about? It's like some weird funky guitar riff. Nope, I don't think so. At least I couldn't hear it. Huh. That was bizarre. Right. Let us save. And let us hope 
Please, dear God, let the rebreather work. Okay, good. It does work. Sometimes when you mod this game, the rebreathers stop working, so this quest becomes a little bit harder. Which I should actually talk about the fact, uh, mods for Fallout New Vegas. I do, in the future, plan to do another playthrough of New Vegas with mods, but I'm going to do the mod campaigns and stories that have been added on. The biggest one that everyone talks about, uh, besides one called Project Nevada, which adds, like, a whole mess of things to, um, to New Vegas, is what is known as the New California mod, which adds in an entire new campaign story, new wasteland, and everything. It basically just uses everything in the game to, uh, build up an entirely new game. So, super fan DLC? Yep. New California was in development since New Vegas came out in 2010 and barely came out this year. Well, last year, I think. Oh. I mean, fan projects do take a while. They ain't got the monies. They have the money, the time, they even did voice acting. Oh. For quality. Yep, high quality. All right, now where's Loyal's Loyal's detonator? And now, Veronica, get out of the water before the bomber goes off. Be free! There it is, the B twenty nine bomber. Oh, I was expecting a big sploosh. I was too. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. Kaboom! Sploosh. <laughs> that was a good. I, I love how we, <laughs> I, I love how we all just thought of that. We're just waiting for like this gigantic explosion, and it just casually floats to the surface like a bath toy. No, but <laughs> you just held down for a bit. Right, loyal. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Your plan worked. The plane floated up. Seems to be intact. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. How exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you. The robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics uh, to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Also, thank you, Teen Shade, for the birthday wishes. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. All right. Now, we are actually done with the boomers entirely. We do not need to come back to deal with the boomers at all. Except there is one thing I'm going to steal from Mother Pearl. Just to make another side Ooh, quest easier. Bad. Hey, that's bad karma, not bad reputation. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the, the better priority here. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Right, I've spoken to Loyal. The B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. And Volair. But and we are now idolized by the boomers. Hello, Mother Pearl. Hold on. I need to 
Uh, while you sit at your desk, I will be going through your desk over here. That is not there. Where is it? 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 I need to hurry. I need to hurry. Veronica, look for a key. Put a key in here. Can I actually tell him to do that? You can. Okay, I found it. Colonel Blackwell's key and inventory transfer order. You've done us a great service. Thank you. Right. Put a bucket on her head. I can put a bucket on Mother Pearl's head. Where's the bucket? Oh, God. The meme is back. The meme never oh. died, Aether. The meme never died. It has been reborn in Fallout. Right. And it's not a bucket, but it is a pot. Well, it's not on her head, but... Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> I guess her head's not solid. Because normally that should be landing on her head, not on her neck. I think we all have those days. Just where your neck is. <laughs> where we're Rayman? And we have no, we have no head, we just have a neck? Well, that's not Rain Man. Reverse. Reverse Rain Man. You have the other limbs, but you have the parts to connect the limbs, but you don't have the limbs. No head, no body, no hands, no feet. Just arms and legs and neck. Right, still in the dark. All right, now there's two places we can go right now. I think we're going to go and get Lily. Because I need another melee based um friend oh no bees bees bee bee veronica punch the bee punch the bee i oh veronica you didn't punch the bee i was wondering why i was slower and then i realized i have the stupid um I have the stupid thing on. Great, now I gotta use another anti-venom. Alright, Weeza climb a mountain. But first things first, Weeza discover the zombie plant vault. So then I can go back there later. Okay, where are the bees? There are the bees! There be the bees! Bees. Oh no, that's a lot of them. Oh no. Hi, 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 hi. Saying hi to all of them individually. I'm killing them. That's not a good way to greet someone. It is when these things poison you on contact. You can't help it for being different. Yeah, they're different. Um, they're different, all right. I don't remember seeing giant bees before. I mean, they're the size really, of... You've never taken acid. No. I do not do the <laughs> drugs. <laughs> I do not do the drugs. I am good boy. Or in this case, good girl. Character woman? Yeah. Oh, cool. I didn't notice that. Planes, why you thought I was talking to your character earlier. <laughs> yeah. I will not take the... I will not take the weed. I would not be able to function, and I don't want to get fired from my job for smoking weed. Even though it's legal in the state of California now. Hey, I'm sure you can't do it on the job. <laughs> well, no, I mean, our job follows federal regulations, which is why we are, um, we, if we get drug tested, we will get fired if we were to smoke weed. 
Oh, yeah. That's fair. These praying mantises are strong. They're praying mantises. How strong do you think they would be? Um, not this strong. In Kung Fu Panda, they're quite strong. Yeah, but in Kung Fu Panda, they're not this big. And but they're stronger. Also, I have not actually seen Kung Fu Panda. I just made a guess. Please, when I saw a character like that. <laughs> yeah, there's a praying ranch, isn't like. Holy cow, I'm almost dead. I can't hit the broads out of a barn. Alright, we're gonna drink some bitter drink. I'm gonna start using actual guns. That thing only gives me nine experience, but it does so much stupid damage. I don't want to use vats, though, because if I screw up with vats, I'm going to die. Veronica, I need you to punch. Punch the praying mantis. Okay, you tried. You tried. I saw an attempt. It wasn't a very good... It wasn't a very good attempt, but I saw an attempt. It was too high in reach. Okay, I found out why exactly Veronica was not uh, attacking. She was dealing with a bee. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this content and wish to see more, why not check out one of these other playlists that are on the side right over here. Also, be sure to leave a like, comment, and possibly subscribe if you wish to keep up to date with the channel going forward. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all for future episodes.